Hi, and welcome to How Humans Heal. I'm Dr. Donnie Wilson. And in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the truths associated with the HPV virus, human papillomavirus. Now, I'm going to be highlighting three main truths that I feel definitely everyone should know, but I'll be sharing actually more than three. So first of all, we talk about the HPV virus as if it's one virus, when actually there's more than 150 different types of the HPV virus, and some of them are associated with low-grade symptoms such as warts, like warts on your hands or feet, and also genital warts are associated with low-grade HPV. Those are not associated with cancer risk. About 13 types, as far as we know at this point in time, are associated with cancer risk. Now, that doesn't mean that you're definitely going to get cancer, but it means that there's increased risk of cancer. So my question becomes, what is it that makes some people more susceptible to cancer risk when they have HPV virus versus other people whose bodies are able to clear the virus? Yes, you heard me correctly. This is the number one truth that I believe everyone needs to know because many practitioners are telling them otherwise, and I want to set the record straight. But the truth is that the human body can clear the HPV virus. That's very clear in research studies, including a study from 2013 that showed that 90% of people clear the HPV virus within two years of being exposed to it. So we know the human body has the capability to clear the HPV virus, get it to negative, and keep it negative. However, that's not what the standard of care is telling people, and the standard of care is not helping patients and people in general, men and women, to support themselves to more effectively, efficiently, quickly clear the virus. That's why I'm so passionate about getting the information out there because the fact is, number two, we're most all exposed to this virus. As humans, this is not a rare virus in our environment. This is very common virus, including the high-risk types, which are spread through sexual contact, genital contact. The thing is that in the past, it was thought that it required numerous sexual partners to contract HPV. But we know now that it's possible to get HPV even with one sexual partner. And I talk to many women from around the world with that experience. So the way I look at it is we are all human. Humans have sex and humans get exposed to HPV by having sex, even with one sexual partner. The fact is that over 80% of us are exposed to the HPV virus by age 50. So there should no longer be any kind of stigma or shame or judging women who are testing positive for HPV, nor men who are testing positive for HPV. The issue is that most men around the world do not have access to HPV testing at this point in time, especially in the United States. Some countries, there is testing, and so more men are finding out that they're testing positive, and they are as furious as the women, saying, wait a minute, nobody told me that I could get exposed to this virus, and practitioners are telling people they can't get rid of it. And again, the truth is, you can get rid of it. Most of all of us are exposed to it. And while you might clear it on your own without doing anything differently, Many people end up with chronic positive HPV, meaning more than two years showing positive. So what happens is for women, because women are tested for HPV when they get a pap smear, more often than the past. In the past, we only tested when there were abnormal cells on the pap. Now, HPV is tested most always with a pap smear. So more women are finding out that they're testing positive. And more men are finding out that they're testing positive. And so it's going to become a more and more of a conversation out there, which is exactly why I'm putting this video out. And I'm hoping you're, that's how you found me and you're listening and you're saying, wow, this is important information and important truths for you to know because I want you to know that you can navigate, you can help your body to clear this virus and protect yourself from cancer. Unfortunately, another truth about HPV is that it's that most associated with, I guess I should say it this way, 
Cervical cancer is the second most common cancer that women experience around the world. And it's most cervical cancer is associated with high-risk HPV. So we can say that when this is a virus that's causing a lot of cervical cancer, which means a lot of medical procedures and trauma and treatment and even deaths from cervical cancer that could be prevented. That's another truth. Cervical cancer is preventable. We can actually prevent it by becoming aware about the virus, understanding of the virus. It's not about avoiding sex. It's not about being hard on ourselves. That's not going to solve it. And it's certainly not getting solved. There's not a prescription medication that's going to solve it. And it doesn't get solved simply by having more procedures or surgeries. Women are having leap procedures, cervical biopsies, hysterectomies, and still the virus is causing abnormal cells because the procedures, this is another truth about HPV, is that the procedures do not kill the virus. And even though, yes, there is a vaccine, it does not address all the types of HPV. So some people will say, oh, just have the vaccine. While the vaccine can be partially protective, it's not 100% protective. So there are still people who have had the vaccine and will test positive for HPV and could even have abnormal cells and cervical cancer, even though they had the vaccine. So I like to really say, even if you have the vaccine, you need to be testing, you need to be aware, you need to be testing for HPV, you need to be getting pap smears. And if you have abnormal cells, especially, we need to address those abnormal cells, but we need to address the virus so it doesn't continually cause abnormal cells because that can happen. And I hear from many women who are struggling with this in silence because there's nowhere for them to speak out and nowhere in the standard medical system for them to get help, which is exactly why I do what I do to offer free trainings online, these videos online, so that women and men can start to understand their options and to understand that they may have to go outside of the standard medical care to get help with HPV at this point in time. I hope that changes. I really do think that we all deserve this support to clear HPV because in my clinical experience over 24 years, my patients are clearing HPV. They are going through a protocol that I developed over years of work and research and go learning from my patients what works and what doesn't work. I know how scary it is to test positive for HPV virus. And I know it's even more concerning when your gynecologist tells you that all you can do is wait and see if it continues and if it causes abnormal cells. That's exactly why as a naturopathic doctor and midwife that I feel so passionate about helping women to be proactive about protecting themselves from HPV virus. I've been helping thousands of women for the past 23 years to do exactly that and to get HPV to negative and stay negative. And that's why I developed the Say Goodbye to HPV online program where you can get access to my proven protocol from wherever you are in the world. So I hope you will come check out the Say Goodbye to HPV program, review the success cases, and see if this is going to be a good fit to help you get your life back from HPV. And there's a lot of things that people hear online that may or may not actually be that effective either. Um, some things are partially effective, partially effective mushroom extracts and broccoli extracts and nutrients, yes. What we need, though, is a comprehensive protocol of using clinical nutrition, food as medicine, herbs that are, are shown to be effective based on scientific research and clinical outcomes. And we need to be going beyond just focusing on the body. Yes, we need to be focusing on the vaginal gut biome connection. We need to be focusing on hormones. We need to be focusing on the effects of stress on the human body because ultimately what I find is that it's the effects of stress that we're exposed to, stress in the forms of psychological, psycho-emotional stress, toxins as a stress, physical stress, infections as a stress makes us susceptible to the HPV virus as well as other viruses because stress depletes our immune system. So we can't just avoid all stress, but what we can do is we can help ourselves recover from stress. That has to be part of the protocol. If not, it's not going to end up resulting in long-term change. 
So it has to be a comprehensive protocol that addresses the root causes, and it has to be a protocol that addresses the mind-body connection, because ultimately, the fear and myths and misconceptions about HPV end up working against us, end up making us more susceptible to the virus, which is exactly why I'm so glad you're listening to this video. If you would like more help, I welcome you to join me at the next Heal HPV workshop. I'll put the link down below and you can find it on my website. You can join for free from anywhere in the world so you can learn more about the myths and the truths about HPV and how you can clear it. You can clear it. You can. I see it over and over every day with the women that I work with and men that I work with. You do not have to. This is the third truth I really want to share with you. You do not have to wait and see if it gets worse. Most practitioners will have you in the wait and see plan. And I'm here to say, you do not have to be in the wait and see plan. You can be in the take action now and clear the virus plan. And that's what you're going to find at my website, including in my Say Goodbye to HPV program and services I offer with my team. I'm also training practitioners in this protocol because I want to shift the way that healthcare is really delivered related to preventing HPV-related cancer, particularly cervical cancer. But there are other cancers associated with HPV, including for men, that need to be prevented. We need to decrease this. This is doable, possible, and absolutely necessary. Thanks again so much for joining me. If you know anyone who's struggling with this, I welcome you to Send them my contact information. I'll be happy to help them and be able to join the list of people who are now on their way, living their lives free of HPV. You deserve that. And I'm glad to be providing that information for you to be able to know how. So you can go to the Say Goodbye to HPV program page, find out more information, or feel free to reach out to my office if you would like to ask specific questions about your case. So thanks again for joining me for How Humans Heal. I look forward to connecting with you at the next episode. Be sure to subscribe and leave me a review and a comment if you'd like. I'd love to hear from you. And please know that really that's my mission at How Humans Heal is to help you get the information you that's out there that you need and deserve to heal, whether it's from HPV, or any other health issue that you've been struggling with and not getting enough help. So thanks again for joining me. I'll see you at the next episode. Thanks for listening to How Humans Heal. If you liked this episode, leave a rating and a review. And for more resources, visit drdonnie.com.